Welcome to the BitConnect YouTube channel, coming up in today's video. Security Hello everyone, I'm Roy Murphy, welcome back to the BitConnect YouTube channel. I hope you all had a very happy new year. I must start this video with an apology to some of you for my last video. It was all tongue in cheek. Um, it was a way of me introducing the new year changes to our intros and outros, which I was testing. But that's not the real reason, is it? Um, I don't think I've ever had a video that's had that many dislikes. And I kind of knew that was going to happen. Uh, it was kind of engineered that way, and I got a bit of a giggle out of it. And 50% of you also had a little chuckle at the intro, uh, understanding that I cannot say anything. And it's not necessarily a case of I don't know, because there are many aspects of BitConnect X that I don't know. But I know enough to do some damage. Uh, and a little bit of knowledge can be very dangerous, which is the reason why many people have been asked not to say anything. It's not a case of it's just this massive secret. There's just not enough information out there to actually give enough knowledge that won't create more questions than answers. Uh, so to that effect, that's the reason why none of us can actually say anything. And it's a self-imposed blockade on saying anything that will damage BitConnect, which is a very sensible thing to do, and, and I fully agree, understand. So please understand that's the reason why we can't do this. And the other reason is that it, it creates this tension, it creates this excitement. Um, whatever you think it is, whatever BitConnect is, I can assure you this will be the biggest ICO you've ever seen. This will be the biggest ICO that anybody's ever seen. And I'm not just saying that because my YouTube channel is dedicated to BitConnect, it's just a fact. Um, and obviously I can't say too much, um, but it's very, very interesting. And the reason why I made that video was because I had a bit of a chuckle to myself at Jedi Knight's video the, uh, the same morning. And obviously the same thing applies uh, with information from, from Jedi, who I am a massive fan of. Um, he's my favourite YouTuber, um, mainly because he, he's so real, he's so honest. Uh, everything he does um, is balanced, it's with uh, his eloquence. It's, um, th there are so many things that I would like to aspire to be able to do in my videos. And he does it so well and it comes very, very naturally. And he obviously works very, very hard at what he does. He does a lot of research. Uh, and there's so many insights that come out uh, of his channel, uh, which is why I'm such a big fan. So um, I had the opportunity to chat with him um, and, and, and poke a little, poke him a little bit and say, you yeah, know, 42 seconds, come on. And anybody else, anybody else can do a shorter video than that. So I laid the gauntlet down to everybody and I included myself in that. So um, I managed to beat him by two seconds. I made a 40 second video saying everything and absolutely nothing and it was quite enjoyable to make because most of my videos are 20 minutes plus so um, i'll try and keep most of my videos now we've started making some videos called uh, bitconnect quick which you'll start seeing over the next few weeks and they will actually answer some of the the common questions that we get all of the time as content creators we get you know we start to see patterns in some of the information some of the questions and one of those we will answer today and it's very pertinent that I mention this at this point in time now with the BitConnect website counting down. So let's talk about that for a second um, and there are a few things that I can talk about. So one is the launch, so five hours, uh, five days, 19 hours, 38 minutes. Uh, that will be midnight UK time on midnight of the night of the 9th of January, morning of the 10th. So I'll let you do your own maths on where that is in your time zone. We will be covering the launch live. So we will be live streaming and we will be asking, answering uh, all of the questions as we go through it in real time. So that will be something I'm really looking forward to. So that's one week from now, just under one week. So, um, if you want to be reminded, don't forget to like and subscribe this video. When you subscribe, don't forget to tick the little bell icon. That will uh, ping your phone. Uh, if you have a smartphone and you are subscribed, it will actually ping you to tell you when we are actually going live. So when, 
In 2018, we'll be doing loads of live streams. And it's not just going to be information for information's sake. It will be real information as and when it needs to be said uh, in real time. So lots of those will be some of the changes that we're making to this channel. There are loads of others that we will save for other videos. So um, BitConnect X launches at midnight on the 10th of January. Also, something else happening, talking about Jedi as well. Uh, Jedi Knights, I will be doing a live vlog. He does one every two weeks. Uh, on Saturday, the 13th of January, I've been invited to do a vlog with uh, with Jedi Knight. So um, that's something else I'm really looking forward to. And that should be a biggie as well. Uh, I imagine there'll be lots of people online waiting for that. So that's on Saturday the 13th. So stick that in your diaries. And it's also a reason why you should also follow Jedi Knight if you don't already. He is synonymous the great Jedi Knight. If uh, I'm going to stick a link in the bottom, actually, so you can see his channel. If you don't know, then where have you been living for the last five months? And um, if you like the content in these videos, there is no way you will not love the content that he gives. So, um, you know, it has a different twist, uh, but you get real, raw, honest reviews and insights. And that's why I love the guy so much. So there you go. That's my little pluggy McPluggerson for today. So BitConnect X, the only things I can talk about are anything that damages BitConnect I need to address. Um, and obviously the FUD machine has been out. There's a lot of anticipation. There's lots of excitement. Uh, I'm one of them because there are still so many things I don't know about BitConnect X. But the things I do know and the things that I can cover is uh, any of the FUD that I've been having that's uh, been filling my, my inbox. So um, some of them are saying that it's a big exit scam. If BitConnect has all this money, why does it not plow its own money into its own coin to do an ICO? Now, if you think about it logically, an ICO is for people who support a coin or a platform or an exchange or a system, whatever it may be, people have the opportunity, especially when you're talking about a decentralized currency. If you're not pre-mining anything, then everybody has the right and equal opportunity to be able to get involved. So what I can assure you is that everybody will be able to get into BitConnect X. Okay. The other thing as well, the other FUD that I want to set to one side is that it is a fork of BitConnect or it is uh, something to replace the current platform. That is not the case. That is untrue. And it is not a fork of the BitConnect coin. This is a completely standalone coin. And the reason, without going into too much detail, is it has a very specific use case something that has never been seen before okay so that in itself is something to be excited about so we're going to cover this live um, obviously knowing more than most people not all the questions i mean I, I have no idea what the price is i don't know how many coins will be available those things are not available to me i don't know as much as you don't know um, but the things i do know is that i cannot speculate on what i know because i know <laughs> And I can either talk about it and let the cat out of the bag, or I can spe speculate and lead people up the wrong garden path, uh, or create more FUD, or say something that is just simply not true. So the best way for me to say anything is to say nothing. And guys, just get excited. Join me. Okay? We'll be doing it live. So uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And you will come and join us live. I'll be answering all of your questions. And it will be a long lengthy one because... No one's actually seen what's at the other end of the screen. Now, I've tried my best to dig into all the code. There's nothing there. There's nothing that gives the game away. I've tried already. Even if I could dig into it and find some juicy nuggets of information, I probably couldn't share it anyway. But I can, I've honestly said I have tried. I've dug into all the code. There's nothing that gives the game away. Um, and if you, I've seen a lot of the videos of people talking about it and trying to figure out what it is, I can tell you that 95% of them are wrong and the 5% of them are on the right track, but just 
it's still not right. So rather than go into all the details, let's just enjoy the journey and we'll all see on the 10th of January. That's BitConnect X. Join us for that. So we're talking about security today. So um, before we do anything else, let's go over to our dashboard area. I haven't shown anyone my account area. Oh, I've got a screen burn. I've got a big X, <laughs> big X on my screen. <laughs> this is what happens when you record on your TV. Um, so I've just refreshed. So I've got 1,243. So there's been so much FOMO on BitConnect X. People are holding they're holding in their lending wallets or holding BitConnect coins. And it kind of looks like I've been doing that for the last day or two. And do I do a thousand and ten reinvest? Uh, yeah, I really should. But one thing that I do do all the time is I try and keep any referral fees outside of the accrued profit. So I need to move this across anyway. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to do my one thousand and ten reinvest, which I should be doing. I really should be doing it. And so should you. Don't do as I say, do as I do, don't do as I, just, just do what you want to do. It's, this is decentralized cryptocurrency. So I've got 11 BitConnect uh, coins here now from the last couple of days. I've got 635 in my lending wallet. I will let that roll up to 1,010 and do what I normally do. I'll do the 1,010 reinvest, but I'm going to start setting some aside over here, I think, uh, just in case, because like you guys, I don't know what the price is. I don't know how many are available. But what I can tell you is that everybody will have an opportunity to be um, to be involved. So uh, those who are thinking it's going to sell out within seconds, it's been engineered um, that everybody has equal opportunity. There are no special, um, there's no special conditions for anybody. You know, no promoters are going to get early access. Everybody is on a level playing ground. Just want to make that perfectly clear. Everybody has an equal opportunity. This is from scratch. So excited. I, I want to say something, but I can't. But um, what I do want to talk about is um, security. So let's go over. Now, if I go to some, my security area here, it will show you my encryption details. So I've got, I've got an account that's set up just for YouTube so that all the pertinent security details are not shown. Now, one of the biggest recurring questions that I get on an almost daily basis are security related questions or can I relay to BitConnect my issues I'm having? Can I get hold of support because I haven't heard anything back for a few days? I've lost my two-factor authentication. I lost my phone and BitConnect hasn't responded to me and it's, it's, this is crazy. I, I, I'm losing money. The thing about cryptocurrency is that people misunderstand. They are they are used to having other people do stuff for them when they use a particular system or platform or company or organization or, you know, take a bank, for instance. You give a bank your money to hold and you empower this responsibility for looking after your money. And you do that whether it's a telephone exchange, phone company, your phone goes down, you want to pick up a phone or email someone and start shouting them, my, my phone's not working. The responsibility is always on other people to do stuff for you because you are either investing or you're paying for a service. People have to get out of that mindset. When you're dealing with cryptocurrency, it means that you are financially sovereign. I've talked about this till I'm blue in the face. I've done that throughout 2017 and I can't reiterate this enough. Your responsibility for trading your responsibility for holding your coins and your responsibility for your security on your network security, on your hard drives, on your backups, on your two factor authentications, on your login shield, on your login history, on your cookies, everything that you do, it's your money, it's your savings, it's your investments. When you put your money into BitConnect, BitConnect will do its part. It provides you with all the tools on this page. Now I've scrolled down so you can't see whose account this is. Now this is not a real account anyway, um, but what you would normally see down here is uh, a, an API key generator that someone could copy and could try and gain access to an account. Now the good thing is, is that if you don't have, like I don't have, it's, this is disabled in this particular account, 
every time you refresh the page up here it generates a new key anyway uh, so these keys aren't active so you can say Roy you, you, it's a security issue you're showing your private keys one it's not my account two it hasn't been activated and three every time you push the refresh button it generates a new key anyway until you actually use it so there's no security issues about me using or showing you this right now I would recommend that if you have any kind of investment that you cannot afford to lose in BitConnect you need to activate two-factor authentication at the very minimum so 1.5 million users how many security related or just general support queries have there been so far in 2017 whatever your number you're thinking of you are wrong a quarter of a million thereabouts support tickets in 2017 90% of all of those support tickets were completely unnecessary it will be either a misunderstanding about how something works it would be about someone's own stupidity of clicking the wrong thing or trying to change a sponsor is a biggie if you have a sponsor there is no way in BitConnect as of late November 2017 can you change your sponsor I'll say that again just because this will save so many support tickets for BitConnect as of November 2017 you cannot change your sponsor if you are thinking about joining up BitConnect choose your sponsor wisely I'm not even saying choose me now in every single video my referral link is below every video and for those people that either don't have a sponsor can either change their sponsor or add me as a sponsor by typing in R Murphy into the area in the tools section under management tools go to profile go to sponsor go to edit sponsor and then add R Murphy all lowercase that is how you change your sponsor if you do not have a sponsor if you do have a sponsor there is no longer any way that you can change it so if you're signing up and you don't have a BitConnect account, you can sign up without a sponsor at any time. If you sign up under someone, make sure that sponsor will support you. This is something that's very important now, especially in 2018, because the way that the support ticketing system and BitConnect, uh, as it is or as it was in 2017, is changing and has changed. Now, the reason why is that if you double the number in 2019 that means double the amount of people to do double the amount of work for double the amount of stupidity and most of the tickets that come through are completely pointless now I'm sure they're not pointless for the people that send the tickets because they're obviously screaming out for help and if they haven't got a sponsor that can help them if they don't have a community that will help them if they don't have a discord channel where people within the same team can talk to each other and educate each other in their own time in real time if those type of systems don't exist then the only place they've got to go is the only address they've got to send to which is support at bitconnect.co so this is changing and this is very very important because in seven days time there is another area as an extension of BitConnect available it's a whole new system and nobody including me knows how to work it and there's going to be lots of people out there who are going to want to probably do something wrong make a mistake send something to the wrong address do the wrong conversion lose their phone lose their two-factor authentication or something stupid like that it happens accidents happen but it's the way that you prepare and make the system more efficient so when we talk about everything that's happened in BitConnect uh, in terms of the updates on the website everything has been designed and changed around efficiency let's get back to two-factor authentication out of all of the support tickets in BitConnect the biggest number of the same types of tickets are to do with two-factor authentication and let me tell you this if you have an issue with Google's two-factor authentication it is a a problem with Google and two a problem with either your phone or you 
in no circumstance is it a problem of BitConnect. And I've had this, it's turned into an argument on many times on YouTube, usually with people uh, where English isn't the first language. So you have to give them the benefit of the doubt of not understanding what was required upon them. But when you activate two-factor authentication, it is an extra element. It is an outside library of protection that is added by Google, not by BitConnect. It is a library that has been activated by BitConnect, uh, by BitConnect that has no bearing on what BitConnect can do about it if you forget or if you lose your phone, for instance. So as of now, if you lose or misplace your phone or you forget to write down and store this key, now you will have your own unique key. If you do not write this down and you lose that and you lose your phone, or you lose whatever you use, your Google two-factor authentication, then you lose access to your funds in BitConnect. It's as simple as that. And as of now, BitConnect will not respond to any tickets to do with two-factor authentication. That is the reason for this video. I can't stress this strongly enough. Now, many of you probably will never have this problem, but it's enough of a problem enough of the time that in 2018, this will be half a million people's problem. And half a million people with an average of at least $1,000 in, that's a lot of money lost that nobody can claim. And that's a lot of pissed off people out there. So to avoid that, that's why I'm making this video now. It's essential that you understand the two avenues that you can speak to BitConnect support will be these two things. One, if you have trouble logging into BitConnect and you've forgotten your uh, passphrases, then you can contact support via support at bitconnect.co. They will email you with some verification details to the email address that is in your account. If you've given the wrong email address, uh, a Mickey Mouse email address or a fake email address and you don't have access to that anymore, there is no way of reactivating your account because it will be shut down. It will be shut down for security reasons. Okay, so that's number one. The only other time that support in BitConnect will respond to you is if you think that there is a security issue or if you think there is a phishing site and you're, con uh, you're worried uh, about people having potential access to your funds, in which case you, will, you can email them. They will send you a confirmation email with a link to disable your account. And it is quite a lengthy process to reactivate your account because they will go through the whole security protocol with you. So unless there is an issue with fraud, unless there is an issue with you actually not being able to get into your account and you require to go through the process of reactivating it or gaining access, or there is a scam or there is a fraud on your account, in which case you need to urgently get hold of them, in which case they will respond to you in real time almost immediately. Those are now the only two situations where you can contact BitConnect support. And that sounds a bit harsh, but I will tell you the reasons why it's not harsh. One, because people have had long enough to understand the rules, regulations, responsibilities, of your financial freedom. It's your money. Okay. BitConnect isn't a bank. It is a decentralized tool that operates with very, very few people operating it behind the scenes. Okay. There is a platform, there is a development team, and there are certain members of support that are rotated around the world that offer support in different languages. And imagine how many different languages there are in BitConnect, it's the whole world. So that's a considerable amount of people that need paying to answer really, really stupid questions of people's own stupidity. So I don't want to sound too harsh. I'm just trying to make it as black and white as I can about what happens going forward. So if we go through, uh, we can scroll down here. You can see all the different levels of uh, authenticator. The most important thing here is your key. So. If you lose your phone and you're using your phone as two-factor authentication, you've got the Google app for it. You've got Authenticator on your phone. 
then if you lose this or you lose your phone, you've got this backed up. Stick it in a safe, stick it in a drawer that nobody goes into, stick it in a shoebox under your bed, stick it, give it to a parent or a brother or a, give it to someone you trust, hide it in a secure place, stick it in a folder, stick it on a secure drive, on a pen drive that you know where it is. That is your access. That's your emergency backup access to your BitConnect account. If you lose that and you lose access to your account, there's nothing. You get some more FUD. There you go. The FUD machine is working hard. So um, I hope I've stressed that strong enough. Um, so yes, please educate yourselves. And I can't stress strong enough that the responsibility now stronger than ever will now fall upon sponsors, content creators, YouTube channels, community websites. There are lots of them now. There wasn't when BitConnect first started trading, there was nothing. Now there's a full support network and you guys can join any one of them. Any one of them that suits you, that sorts your way of life, that suits your way of thinking. There are so many different YouTubers now offering different things to different peoples. Find someone that works for you and stick with them, but make them responsible. If you aren't educated about cryptocurrency or about this system, that means you haven't been given enough opportunity to be informed enough as you should be. Now, moving into 2018, if people ask you, what is BitConnect? It's still too complicated. If you can't write it on a piece of tissue paper, if you cannot write what BitConnect is on a matchbox, then it's just too damn complicated. And these are issues that we will be fighting in 2018. And BitConnect X will go a long way to alleviate some of the common issues that people are having. It will support and bolster this system, the system that we know and love, it's not going anywhere. It's not being replaced. It's not a fork. Uh, it's not being diluted. It's it, nothing is happening. It's going to strengthen this system. So in order not to drag this video on too long, and I know that I do keep reiterating these points very hard. And again, I'll repeat myself for the third time. I do feel as if I'm being a bit harsh on some of you and I hope you don't take it that way. I just want to stress how important this is. You only have to watch this once. There will always be different YouTube comments. There'll be comments in your social media pertaining to someone's security issue. If you see that, and I've kept the name of this video really simple. This video is called security. If you do a search for the video security in my playlist, please send them the link. It just saves a lot of typing. I don't want to be keep keep on having the same conversations, the same descriptions and typing the same thing day in, day out. Um, you know, we've got better things to do. There are bigger fish to fry in 2018 as far as BitConnect is concerned. Um, but this will be an important one. Whilst we are talking about support, in case you didn't already know, if you go over to this area here, you go down to the support section, you are faced, I've already clicked through the, um, through the links, but you will be faced as of next week with a greater amount of information. A greater amount of information that will help you with all of the common problems that most people have. The reason why people send so many support tickets is because they can't find answers either from the person, their sponsor, from YouTube, from their social media, from friends and family. If they can't do that, then people who feel desperate will just go to the place that I know it's support at bitconnect.co and they want to find answers. Everything that has been changed in BitConnect over the last three months is about efficiency. And this is also happening with information on the site, specifically the, the, the FAQ section. Uh, specifically on the support area in BitConnect, which is why they're filtered down to those two avenues where you can now speak to BitConnect via support, because the, those are the emergency things. What is stopping you from getting into the system and is it a security issue? Everything else is down to the sponsors. It's down to promoters. It's down to content creators like me, and it's down to social media, people being informed and other people joining communities and educating other people. This is how we grow, guys. Not by spreading FUD, not by asking questions where you... Nine times out of ten, I want to answer these questions and say, do you know what, just do your damn homework. I've had to. You know, we're all newbies once.
So we have to look after the new people that are coming into the system and put our arms around them and say, it just if you did this and did this, and did you think about this and that and this, give them the options. Let people grow. That's the only way that this BitConnect platform will continue to grow the way that it has done in 2017. By adoption, by usage, by education. This way the FUD will just fizzle away. Fizzle away. Sunny decree. Fizzle away. Wouldn't that be lovely? Um, so if you look here, uh, you can see that the submitting a support ticket is unavailable from the December the 27th, 2017 until the 8th of January. We are clearing all previous pending support requests and we'll be back with a new support panel. So the new support panel is new and improved. It'll have so much more information until it lets you go through the process of making sure that there, everything that is known, all the known knowns within the system haven't been exhausted first before you can go through. So that is uh, why. So there are so many, and that is the reason for this video. Talking about FUD, talking about other issues, and talking about security, I have one more security thing to talk about, and that is a website that came to my attention yesterday. This is a website called BitConnect Cash. Okay, I don't know if you've seen it. I'm not going to click on a damn thing. The reason why is that BitConnectCash.io BitConnectCash.io is nothing, I repeat, nothing to do with BitConnect. Now, spoken to all the top brass at BitConnect about this, the consensus and the, the definitive uh, feedback is that this is nothing at all to do with BitConnect. They have no reason to be here other than this is a phishing scam. BitConnectCash.io is a fake website and is a phishing scam. If you click on anything on this website, you think about looking around, you click on anything, um, there are all sorts of bugs, there are trackers, there are um, uh, in injecting um, bots in there, um, there are things that capture information, you click on it, it will capture your, um, it will do everything, it will try and trace everything to do with BitConnect, it's a phishing website. They're trying to do uh, key log generation. There's everything going on behind this website that is not legit. So guys, please be aware. Um, if you are a person who is um, a content creator or you have a social media in any kind of cryptocurrency, please share this so that people understand that this is not a legitimate BitConnect related website and don't even bother clicking a thing. Okay. All you're doing is opening yourself up for risk. That's my joyous New Year's message to all. Um, again, um, as a sponsor, as your sponsor, you got any questions? Just ask below. I'm always here. This is the new generation of people that are taking over the old generation of YouTubers uh, for BitConnect. You notice that the baton is now being handed over with many of the old school BitConnect YouTubers, not because they've done anything wrong, it's just that we're, we're living in a different time. People are, are demanding more education and less general chit chat and um, uh, general talk. And those people will reign king. Uh, more of you guys, I think the biggest YouTubers for 2018 don't even have a YouTube channel yet. That's my thinking. Um, so we need to empower those people and all of you users uh, need to be well educated have all the information you need to make a success of the system and uh, we need to kill the FUD guys 2018 is the year that we uh, set ourselves free and we, we join the rest of the crypto world the baton's being passed it's over to you guys look after it for us I'm Roy Murphy you've been watching the BitConnect YouTube channel and I'll see you in the next video